Hello, my name is Dressing for Set. The device that we have in front of us today is a six and a quarter inch, inch dressing forcep. If you've been in the industry for any time, you know that these go by a number of names, including a smooth forcep, which is a little um, confusing for newer technicians because if you look closely, there are serrations on the distal tip of this device. And so it's kind of confusing because technicians outside of the industry kind of think, well, if it's smooth, then it must be, there must not be anything there, you know, somewhere between the finish that you have on the top of this forcep and on the handle here. Uh, uh, but in fact, a dressing forcep and smooth forcep, or you'll see it sometimes a forcep without teeth, which is <laughs> also confusing. Um, it does have serrations in there on the tip, and so that's a, that's an easy identifiable mark that you are handling a smooth or dressing porcelain in the assembly area. Again, the tip off here, if you're looking closely at the tips, is you're going to want to make sure that there are no teeth on the very end of that distal portion, or that there's no teeth or, or other additions to the side of that jaw of the forceps itself. So if everything is just a simple serration, most likely you're going to be dealing with a dressing forcep. Now, as with our other forceps, in terms of inspection, you're going to want to be looking for any debris that's retained in the tip itself or anything that's on the back of the handle toward the proximal end and in particular, anything that could be lodged in between these two mated surfaces all the way at the back here. That's an easy place for debris that potentially wasn't even there as a device was used, but somehow got there through that transportation and a manual cleaning process. Then you're gonna to wanna to look at these ridges on the top of the handle here to ensure that they're completely clean and removed of any debris. Finally, on the functionality portion of these with all your forceps, you're going to want to make sure that the jaws align as they close. Okay, so any overlap you see there, you can kind of see uh, the serrations on the bottom here. That's what you do not want to see if you are inspecting a forcep. You want it to be completely solid and, and made in it. No overlap on either side of the forcep itself. Okay, so make sure the jaws are aligned. If you have a forcep with teeth, we'll talk about that in another episode, but you don't want to hear any clicking, you don't want to hear any rubbing of your teeth, but obviously because this is a dress forcep, we have no teeth to worry about. And then on the back end, of our forcep, you're gonna to wanna to look for any cracks in the handle to make sure that this device is not compromised in any way. And sometimes those cracks can be fairly small, so as with all of our devices, it's a great idea to have a lighted magnification tool at your assembly area in inspecting and identifying these devices. All right, this is a pretty simple Example of a forcep here, but it is important to know and be able to identify through those serrations on the distal tip. Thank you for watching the later episode of Hello, My Name Is. And until next time, keep fighting dirty.